Hello Benz lovers and welcome to Benz Addictions. Today's video is not really a comprehensive guide. It's more an encouragement for you to start doing this project. I just did this project and I realized how easy it is to fix this. If you have any Mercedes-Benz from 2002-ish to 2012 or something like that, you might have some kind of situation in which the fabric of your roof or uh, the cover for your sunroof or the shade for the sunroof has uh, come apart from the inside layer like the photos you can see here you can easily fix this and you don't have to put up with this situation where the interior of your car doesn't look nice at all it, the only way you can take the shade out out is you need to push all the way this glass which in my case my glass didn't didn't want to take go out go all the way out so i had to uh, force it a little bit uh, with my hand just trying to do so uh, the mechanism on my sunroof has a problem obviously but Long story short, you will be able to derail the uh, sunshade from here and take it out like that. And then you will end up having two separate pieces of fabric. This is the external, this is the internal, and in between is a nasty now type of sponge which after 20 years of heat and adhesive and all those uh, elements, a 50 degree heat, that is kind of powder type of uh, sponge now. So you cannot re-paste this uh, external layer to the internal layer because there is this loose material on it. So the best way is to remove this and use thinner paint thinner to take the extra adhesive of the fiberglass and then I didn't know how to remove this to be honest I couldn't find any video so uh, I cut very precisely one section of this these plastics so I, I could remove it in one piece but <clears throat> As I said, this is only a short guide, but I'm trying to show you. It might save you a few minutes of uh, if you want to do this project yourself, or if you have some kind of records, uh, local records for you, and you happen to have this uh, lead. Of course, this is a the problem with this. If you want to buy a used uh, sunshade like this original one. It will be same probably as what we have here and soon the same thing will happen. It will be sagging and the fabric will come apart. So the best way is to remove these two and also if you're wondering about this handle, you just need to take these two plastic from each side and it comes off. So you just need to use a thin screwdriver and gradually separate these two plastics so you can take this piece off and then and then use a high heat adhesive uh, if you if you have a 3m uh, adhesive spray adhesive handy use that use a high heat one of course uh, this is a high heat uh, spray adhesive too use that and this is the closest uh, color wise and texture wise fabric that I could find. Um, it probably doesn't match fully with my uh, roof lining, but it is what it is. And this is my choice at this time. Anyway, guys, uh, just put everything back and why not? I have seen um, in many cases that people uh, still have uh, this kind of brown material on their uh, uh, roof and which is nasty and it you know uh, it drops all kind of uh, these loose material on the interior but 
this is at least not very bad shape and uh, will be good. Okay, this is the final result of putting back everything. Of course, the material is different and the color code is different of the fabric, but I'm very happy with what I have because now at least I know what adhesive I have used and this is a new adhesive it's hopefully going to last five to ten years before we need to put another uh, fabric or upholstery on it so it's way better than what it was and I really suggest you to do the same process it won't take you more than three to four hours okay guys Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.